Good morning, you guys. Today's Tuesday. I am so sorry I neglected you guys yesterday. I am the worst. I am so, so sorry. But uh, yesterday was crazy. We had his sister come over. She came and she studied with him because she has a big test coming up that he's already taken. So she came and she studied with him. So I really just kind of visited with her and like you know, worked and everything. It's been really busy with work, so it's just been a little different. And also, I think I can finally say it to you guys, she's actually engaged. So, she just got engaged this past weekend. Um, so, we were kind of talking about wedding stuff and like what we could do and like budgeting and stuff like that. And so, I was trying to help her out the best I could since I'm kind of already in the middle of this type of like nonsense. <laughs> so I wanted to help her out the best I could. So I just gave her different advice, different tips. Um, you know, when it comes to planning your wedding, you don't want too many tips. But at the same time, I feel like brides need to have like a reality check like right off the bat. Like you have like this big dream that you've thought about your most of your life, whether you say you did or didn't, like you just have this big idea. And so I feel like myself, I had a huge reality check. A lot of girls just get, they see all these different weddings go on and they just assume that they're affordable, but they're not. Like weddings are very expensive. Like they're upwards to like 30,000 or more dollars if like you add everything together. So they're very expensive and so I wanted to kind of address that with her and just kind of show her different ideas she could do to stay within, you know, budget and everything because we all, we all just need to know these types of things. So we talked about that and then tomorrow we are going to go dress shopping. So we're gonna go dress shopping tomorrow, or no, not tomorrow, why do I keep saying that? Today we're gonna go dress shopping. I kind of forgot and I put on like my like lame makeup where I like don't put foundation on, I put very little makeup on except for like eyeliner. And then I started thinking, I'm like, oh crap, like midway, like as I'm doing my eyeliner, I'm like, oh crap, we have somewhere we're going today. I should have put like a full face on like actual foundation and stuff. But oh well, that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna work for the good majority of the day and then I'm gonna spend like early evening looking at dresses with them. So that is the game plan for today. It's 8.30, I'm gonna eat some breakfast and then I'm gonna start work and just get things out of the way that need to be done. I am telling you what, man, it's very strange when you're watching some of your favorite shows and they're reaching out saying, you know, our thoughts and prayers are with the people in Orlando. That's just crazy to me. It's it's mind blowing. Anyway, I just finished breakfast. I'm now starting my coffee and now I'm watching The Fosters. I'm feeling almost like kind of anxious today. I think it's because like I'm just thinking of my to-do list for today and like everything I need to get done and then you know the fact that I'm going places today. Like for some reason it's like giving me anxiety. I don't really know why but I am. I'm getting some anxiety today. So I really need to clean the fish tank. Like that's kind of where it started because the fish tank is so disgusting. Like it's filthy. But I'm gonna watch The Fosters. It's probably gonna be a tough one and they even put like a viewer description advise because it's gonna have like a school shooting type of scene in it so I'm like kind of nervous to watch it too because I don't know how I'm gonna handle like seeing shooting hey guys so I was sitting here thinking and I'm like you know what I started realizing that some people were entering the giveaway simply by doing the whole Instagram thing and then just putting at that Lee in their caption that unfortunately will not work only because I won't see all the entries that way. What has happened is I've gotten such a large following on Instagram now that Instagram only shows you a certain amount of like comments or activity or if you're just like being added on some post or something. I can't see all of them just because of the activity that's been going on on my Instagram lately. So unfortunately that won't work, that won't enter you because not because I'm ignoring it and not because like you're disqualified but simply because I can't see it. And I want to let you guys know that ahead of time before it gets to be too late. Make sure when you're on your Instagram account and you post the photo, you can even do it. If you've already posted the photo, you still can do it now. Make sure you click somewhere on the image. Go to edit and click somewhere on the image and hit the little tag symbol and then make sure that you tag me in that photo that way it shows up on my profile like I can see your image just by going to my profile there's like a little option I can see like people who have tagged me in a photo so if you do that then I will be guaranteed to see your photo otherwise I just finished cleaning the fish tank which literally just like took a ton of anxiety off of me hey guys so don't mind the awesome hair but hi you guys it's been a few days since I've talked to you and I am so sorry <laughs> So sorry. I've had a really busy week. There's been a lot of new stuff come up that is now going to take part this year. 
and there's just been a lot of new stuff coming about so I haven't had a chance to really talk to you guys I am so sorry yes Tuesday I went dress shopping with his sister because she's getting married so we went dress shopping and then on Wednesday yesterday we I worked all day and both days I worked um I work every day and then I did all this stuff at nighttime um then Wednesday I worked and then we went to Costco we went to his brother and sister-in-law's house to pick up some ladders and stuff I got to see his nephew we went to his dad's house because we had to drop some of his dad's stuff like off and then we went to Costco like I said and then last night I came home we didn't eat dinner last night until 9 30 it was like almost 10 o'clock when we ate dinner last night because we just did so much running around during like dinner time that we didn't get to eat till literally around 9 30. I think I'm pretty sure it was 9 30 which is like the latest I've ever eaten before. Also it was so cool yesterday as we got our save the dates in so I was so excited for those. We got our save the dates in and then we also um, what else happened? My sister's bridesmaid dress came in and then the third thing is Preston surprised me with a present that I would love to show you guys but anything wedding related like decor or anything basically I'll say he surprised me with my wedding dress hanger. Oh my gosh it's so cute I'm so excited for it he surprised me with it he was when it was at the door I was just like did you order anything recently and he was just like I can't even remember and then he's like oh and it was like shaped as a triangle and he goes oh yeah I ordered this thing for my uh, bar and he goes it was like he was like literally describing in depth like what he had ordered for his bar and so then he's like opening it up and then I'm in the middle of like opening something else up and he goes here open this up for me I'll go do this and I'm just like no like finish what you're doing and then go do what I, I think I asked him to like put something in the recycling or something like that and so then he's like all right just finish opening this and I'll go put it in the recycling and I'm just like no like finish what you're doing he goes please just open this for me and I'm gonna go do it I'm like oh, okay and then all of a sudden it's my hanger and it is so cute you guys like it's adorable but I was so excited and it's super duper cute also I think a few days ago well it's probably about a week or so now but I posted a vlog that said how to get 10k steps in a day if you have not watched that vlog go ahead and watch it if you are interested in making sure you hit 10,000 steps a day every single day um, I will say that that has helped me so much like it's not just something that like because sometimes you'll go through a spell you're like really motivated and you're like yeah I'm gonna get this done and then like maybe even less than a week later you're just not motivated anymore with this I'm still super motivated to make sure I hit my 10,000 steps I'm so excited I figured out how to print on envelopes that is going to save me so much time such a headache we tried to write on envelopes like with our own penmanship and they came out terrible like I tried so hard and I'm like I'm really gonna be able to do well I did terrible so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my computer and just print them out I feel like number one that obviously makes it more professional and then number two it just I don't have have to spend all that time going through it really excited about that and then um what else is I gonna say I can't even remember um I need like this is the other part that's like kind of stressed me out is the the guest list is finalized but at the same time I feel like there might be like some more people I wouldn't mind adding to it so then I'll have like a much clearer idea whether or not they're gonna come because I feel like when you get to save the date you already tell the bride and groom whether or not you'll be able to make it so I feel like then I'll kind of have like an okay like kind of clear idea of whether or not not it's gonna be a go so I'm cool on that also I was checking my to-do list I still have so much more stuff I need to get done I really 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 need to ask my mom a day that she will go with me to go look at a florist because that's one thing I have not looked at and I kind of like will decide how my centerpieces will go because depending on the price I may not do flower centerpieces I may not actually decorate my arch with um, any kind of flowers I need to just like go to vendors and see what they're gonna offer me what I learned at the beginning was like I followed this checklist like I felt like it was just you had to follow it or you can't like do anything else but I learned that you don't have to follow that checklist like you can still get stuff done I don't need to follow it so strategically like it helps and it's good it's a good thing if you can do it but I need to stop stressing out because it's not you know going to you know that order you know what I mean but there's like so many things in my outstanding checklist that I'm just like okay I get it hey guys so it is a few days from the date that you're watching right now anyway I just want to close out the vlog and say that I love you guys and I really appreciate you guys watching I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up also if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button I would love you forever and that's it I will see you guys in my next vlog bye everyone Ooh.